Hi guys, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So this is a little bit of a different video. Basically, my lad, Georgie, aka Mini Fujit, came running up to me yesterday and said, oh, look at this game, look at this game. You know, this was the best game I've ever, ever played. And I had a look at the replay, and you know what? It ain't too bad. So I, I promised him that we would do a video on his little game, because why not? So he's rolling out an AKV3, and this is yesterday. Now, a couple of things that you need to know about Georgie, aka Mini Fujit. He's not been playing the game that long, okay? And he did start with quite a hefty win rate after he played all the bots, etc., etc. It was like 58%. He is now, after sort of 2,000 battles, down to 48%. But the fact of the matter is, he's starting to learn the tricks of the trade. Now, the thing is, we all assume, well, I don't, but most assume that low win rate players or kids have no intention of learning how to play the game, which is just inherently not true. I mean, all I can do is, is, is sort of go on what Georgie is doing. And it is clear to me that he has an intention to personally learn the game and actually get better at the game itself. And this replay goes to prove exactly that. And it goes to prove that point that not everybody out there is a troll. Not everybody out there is useless. Now, the thing is, in this battle, Georgie is actually up against some pretty decent players. Some guys with 4,000 battles and like 60% win rate. But he holds his own, to be honest with you. And he has a team around him that is equally as good. Now, look, I know many of you can say, oh, yeah, but, you know, even a broken watch tells the time correctly twice a day. Well, that's not the point, is it? I mean, the point is he's doing his best here. He, he was angling up right nicely to this Churchill. OK, he got a little bit sort of tunnel vision on the kill, but who blames him? Now he's going to move down in help out with the T29. And again, you know, everybody gets tunnel vision on their on their on their kills. And you know, the, the fact of the matter is, he's doing his best. Now, <clears throat> their their they're backs against the wall. Realistically, I mean, they've lost three tanks. The enemy have lost two tanks. And Georgie here is is looking to finish off this LTTB. Quite rightly, he doesn't take the shot. Now, a lot of players would have taken the shot in that instance, but he didn't because he wasn't ready to take that shot. So he just chilled out and the LTTB is gone. Now he's going to look at the VK. Okay, he comes hurtling around the corner, but he can see that the VK is not focused on him. Oh, now he is. So Georgie has to eat a shot there, but he puts a good shot in and then he's trying to back away. I mean, okay, he gets caught up a little bit with the IS. But I like the move that Georgie now plays. Okay. He, he pushes down onto the VK, doesn't get the shot in. He's thinking about hitting one into the Chi-2, doesn't bother. Then he knows that the T25 AT is there. So he's going to come round, okay. He's going to absorb a few shots. That's inevitable. It's three against three. He's going to come round and give this T25 AT a hard time. And this is a good move from Georgie. You know, don't forget, he's a 12-year-old lad. Not been playing the game that long. But he has the, the foresight to go after a tank that he can realistically go after. Now, unfortunately, he, do, he kills that uh, T25 before his uh, teammate dies. So he's not going to get a Kolobin off. But um, it's two against one. And now, when Georgie came to me, he's like, I was really panicking at this stage. I've never really been in a 2v1 situation before. He actually thought he was in a 3v1. He picks out the Wolverine. And he said to me, he took out the Wolverine because it was the easier target. He has got a Chi-2 to deal with. Now, the guy in the Chi-2, I believe, is about a 59% win rate player after something in the region of 4,000 battles. So, you know, he's a better player than Georgie. There's no two ways to put it. And Georgie, he is having a bit of a hard time. And he's trying to angle up and he's trying to get the shots. But the Chi-2 has got him in a pretty difficult position here. So Georgie, and he again, he said to me, he said, look, I was tempted to rush him, tempted to push, but I thought, no, I'm going to hold my ground and wait for him to come to me. And that's not a bad tactic. It's always better for the enemy to make the mistake rather than you. So what George is doing here 
it's actually not bad gameplay. He is not bothering to push. He's not bothering with the cap. He is waiting for the Chi to to basically wanting to wipe him out. And that's not a bad tactic. Now, Georgie generally said, he said to me, he sort of knew he was going to come from the left. That's what he thought. But there he is, he's on the left and he gets a good shot in. And again, George said, I was really tempted to chase after him, but I thought, well, no, he's got a better engine than me, better mobility than me, and a better reload than me. So what's the point? Well, George has done 2.3K damage here. That's not too shabby at all. He's got three kills also. Gets a great shot in here. Fortunately, the G2 also gets a good shot in. Georgie doesn't have any adrenaline or anything like that. And he, what, he, what he's trying to do here, he's trying to angle up, he's trying to side scrape a little bit, narrow down that target. The G2 gets a great shot in, but doesn't finish Georgie off. Georgie manages to get a snapshot in and clutches the win. I mean, that is a great game when you consider it. And I know I'm a little bit biased. I mean, he's my lad after all. But you know what? That to me proves, okay, he only gets a first class. But it proves to me that he's going in the right direction. And at the end of the day, that's the main thing, isn't it? I mean, if he's willing to sort of learn and he's willing to sort of put some effort in, as long as he goes in the right direction, that's all that matters. I, I say all the time, all you can ever ask for is that the players around you do the best that they can. And I think Georgie there really did the best that he could. And never forget this, he is a fully free to play player he has no premium time he has no gold he has no cash to invest in the game he is 100 percent free to play so you know credit where credit's due i'm really proud of the guy in that game i thought he played a great game and he, he himself is very happy with that game and i don't blame him at the end of the day there are better players on the enemy team than georgie there were better players in his team than georgie but he held his own and he did, just shy of 3k damage, he got 4 kills, and he survived the battle with a clutch. Anyway, I've been Fujit, that is being my little lad Georgie, aka Mini Fujit's replay in the KV3. Not a mastery, but they will come. Anyway guys, remember, look, it's just a game, and the idea is to be, have fun and be entertained. So until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, you know, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun and being happy.